How's it going everyone? Welcome back. I'm back with another video today. We're outside right now because I want to show you guys another grill I had picked up. Um, as you guys know, I've got kind of an, an addiction to uh, getting grills. I think this is my eighth one, if you count smokers and grills. So yeah, I've, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Um, well, I've had my eye on this particular model for the last couple years, but I've wanted a pellet grill for a long time. And uh, this is kind of the one that kind of stuck out to me and I like the brand. As you guys know, I got the, the Highland Offset and uh, I like Oklahoma Joe brand or whatever. But uh, yeah, you guys know I got a lot of grills and stuff, so I've been kind of holding off just because I've got so many and it's hard to justify, especially to the wife, that uh, I could use another one. So as you guys know, I got a Highland Offset here. I've got a, a Char Griller Premium Kettle. I've got three flip-flop grills. I've got a electric smoker. Now this pellet grill. So I'll turn the camera around and show you guys. This is the Oklahoma Joe's Rider DLX. It's pretty nice. I have used it one time so far. Um, I cooked a chicken and a duck in it the other day. I've never made a duck before. And I'm not particularly a big fan on whole chicken usually. But uh, it was very good. I was impressed. Um, worked great. It was cold out too. I forget what the temperature was that day. It was very windy. Um, geez, I'm not going to remember the temperature. I think it was like 11 or 12 degrees that day, but with the wind, it was like 30 to 35 mile an hour winds. Um, with the wind chill anyways, it was below zero for the majority of the day. Anyways, it, it took like four hours to cook that duck and that chicken. And uh, yeah, it worked out great. Anyways, I'll, I'll do uh, another video um, showing you guys more of the grill, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know and show you that uh, I finally got one but Yeah, we'll, we'll do another video and uh, maybe coming up. I'll do a kind of a tour of all my grills um, I don't know that all these are gonna stay <sighs> Nah, I don't know the the Highland I could see that getting kind of not used nearly as much anymore I'm probably not gonna get rid of it. I mean the pellet grill and the offset both definitely are going to have their place. But, uh, yeah, I, I could see myself using the Highland a lot less just because the pellet grill is easier to use. Um, kind of set it and forget it almost type of thing as long as you got pellets in there. And obviously, you're, you know, keeping track of your food, the cook process. But uh, the Highland, you know, the offset smokers, the stick burners, um, just going to give you better results. There's no arguing that. Um, if you know anything about barbecue and you know anything about offset smokers they're going to produce you the best barbecue in my opinion a lot of people agree um you know you got drum smokers and stuff like that that can produce excellent stuff but pretty much you know it's unanimous across the board that the pellet grill ain't going to produce oh, what the uh offset can plus you know it's, it's kind of enjoyable to you know burn actual wood and uh you know put a ton of work into something like that and control your fire and your temps and uh, make something excellent out of it. Um, I bet money that I can make a better rack of ribs off my offset smoker than I can the pellet grill. But the purpose of the pellet grill is, you know, if you want to do a brisket, you kind of just throw it in there in the middle of the night and make sure the hopper's full and you get some sleep. You can't do that with the offset smoker. You're up all night long, every half hour, 45 minutes, checking the fire and temps and regulating and there is no sleep involved there unless you got a buddy there to to watch it with you so anyways that's the video anyways kind of rambling there but uh yeah um i'm pretty excited about using it some more i'm going to do some videos on it for you guys um I, I really appreciate it if you guys could leave me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have a pellet grill what brand you have or if you have this one and uh subscribe we're coming out new videos all the time we'll see you guys next time